Then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time I am looking at a CPU cooler from a brand you've probably never heard of, and that would be from Gelid or Gelid. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Gelid Solutions. Now they they are known for more thermal paste and their thermal pads. Now this is the Tranquilio Fire Rev Five, so I'm assuming it's a uh, it's a revision five. I've got benchmarks and I push this cooler to its absolute max. Right then, when it comes to the benchmarks, I've done two different tests. I've done one with just XMP enabled, and then I've done another basically adjusted. So, with the basic, with just XMP enabled results with the 5900X, it was Cinebench R23. The idles were 35 Celsius, the max was a 77 Celsius blender classroom. Idles were 35, the max was a 75. Blender BMW, 35 Celsius again, and the max was a 74, and 3D Mark CPU test was probably the highest on the Just XMP, and that was idles at 36, and the max was a 78. Now, the second test, I did push the CPU, and I allowed the CPU to hit 175 watts. Now, yes, this has got 150 watt TDP for this cooler but i wanted to push it to the max and i did adjust the overall thermal limit when it comes to the 1500x which is usually 90 celsius i did put it up to 100 so cinebench r23 now the idles were a, a lot lower in the first run the idles were 34 celsius and the max was the highest i've ever had of any cpu cooler 97 celsius wow Blend the classroom, the idles did go up by one degree at 35. The max wasn't as high, but it was still 93 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were 35 at the same max was 93. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles did creep up because the room started to heat up as well. The idles are 37, and the max on this one was a 76 Celsius. So that's all the benchmarks. Let's get into the noise test. Right, when it comes to the overall noise testing, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mic off and put it up towards the cooler. What I will say is this cooler is very quiet. If you heard any back noise, that would be the fans in the background. So here we go. Now, it isn't running that fast. I believe it's only 1500 RPM. Well, actually, I can show you. Let's have a look. So, we go to... Actually, it is 1660 RPM. But, 
what I will say is I can hear the Bits power fans over this cooler. It is extremely silent. And so you saw the overall thermals. Now, for a cooler that's only got four heat pipes with one 120 millimeter fan that only runs at initially 1700 RPM, which is very silent. Well, like I said, in the overall recording of the noise, that is the Bits power fans running at 600 rpm which you can hear it is very quiet and i was really surprised now yeah it hit 97 celsius yes that is very high but remember cinebench r23 hits the cpu with a different type of testing it does not test like cinebench like blender or any other cpu benchmark out there because it does target everything so that's a full load and i will say for the cpu cooler i did unlock the overall thermal limit of the 1500x which is usually 90 celsius but i changed it to 100 and this only hit 97 which i was really surprised for such a small air cooler fair play to them it performed very well i was really surprised but what i will say i don't like is the mounting the mounting mechanism for this cooler is very outdated it's basically what cooler master used for the hyper 212 you've got to attach the brackets underneath the cooler ah oh, and then you've got to hold the back plate you've got it was look i'm not just saying that it's a bad design or anything like that i'm just saying that they need to update the overall mounting system use something similar to noctua or something similar to thermorite because at the end of the day it's going to make the consumer a lot better to, it's going to be make the consumer a lot happier because honestly if they change the mounting system to anything other than what they're using i would be a lot happier other than the problem with that the cooler performed very well yeah the performance was of course on the extreme level which i pushed this cooler the whole point of a review is to push the cooler to see what it's capable of now yes you will not get that type of a uh, thermal uh, thermal load in gaming because games don't utilize the cpu fully so you could expect a 50 to 60 degree uh load it depends on what game you're playing if you're playing something very heavy like cyberpunk it might hit more but usually games don't utilize every single core so you guys won't have a problem using this for something like the 5900x or the 5800x uh, X. so yeah that's my conclusion i hope you guys enjoyed the video big thumbs up for me i do have the upcoming head-to-head -head video versus the burst assassin from thermorite and i will say that this one isn't probably looking very good for them for not thermorite for yeah gel -ed. Je uh, Galad or uh, Galad, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. I did pronounce it in the beginning. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce it properly. But I don't know how good it's going to perform. But we will have to see when it comes to the next head to head. So make sure you subscribe for that video, which will be coming Saturday. Make sure you uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment down below. And as always, this is Richard from Wealth Tech. I hope you guys have a absolute fantastic day. Good bye.